All right, boys and girls, we are going to get started. We're going to start with our song. Are you ready? Are you ready to sing? Good morning. I'm Jack. And I'm Becky. Let's get ready together for a great day. Sing along and move. Good morning, good morning. Let's get ready the brain smart way. Good morning, good morning. Get ready to start the day. Get your hands ready. Shake, shake. Get your arms ready. Stretch, stretch. Get your brain ready. Cross, cross. Get your focus ready. Good morning, good morning. Let's get ready the brain smart way. Good morning, good morning. Get ready to start the day. Get your hands ready, shake, shake. Get your arms ready, stretch, stretch. Get your brain ready, cross, cross. Get your focus ready. Good morning, good morning. Let's get ready the brain smart way. Good morning, good morning. Ready to start the day. Connect with a friend. Shake, shake. Connect with a friend. Clap, clap. Connect with a friend. Hip, hip. Connect with a friend. Hug, hug, hug. Good morning, good morning. Get ready to start the day. Get ready to start the day. All right. We're going to move on to our book. Are you super excited that you get to see Miss Jordan today? Yeah. So our book today is a tree for all seasons because we're talking about trees. That's our study. So we're going to keep going with the different colors of the trees. Year after year, a maple tree changes from season to season. Do you see how the difference it is? In winter, the tree is bare. It looks dead, but it is alive and well. Many things are happening. Squirrels nap in a cozy tree hole. A little bird sits on a branch and calls its name, chickadee dee. Look closely at this tree branch. The bumps at the tip are buds. They will open into leaves when the weather gets warm. As winter ends, nights are still cold, but days are getting warmer. It is perfect weather for farmers to collect sugar maple sap. The sap flows out of taps and into buckets. The sap has no color until it is boiled. Then it becomes dark, sweet maple syrup that you like put on pancakes. What a treat for pancakes and waffles. Spring brings warmer weather. The leaf buds open. Soon the maple tree grows floppy green flower tassels. Birds build nests on the branches. You see the bird? Spring also brings rain showers. The tree's roots soak up water and carry it to all parts of the tree. Sunshine helps the tree make sap which feeds the tree. Look at the veins in a leaf. Air, water, and sap all flow through them. You see the different veins on the trees, the lines? In summer, the maple tree is covered with dark green leaves. Fruit called samaras is growing on the tree. It makes a good meal for a chipmunk. Even on a hot summer day, you can find a cool place to play under a maple tree. In autumn or fall, the tree's leaves turn bright colors. As the leaves dry up, they change from green to yellow, red, and orange. Each day, more and more leaves fall. Autumn brings chilly days and nights. 
Bugs crawl under the trees, bark where they will sleep through the cold weather. Animals get ready for winter when food will be hard to find. Squirrels hide lots of nuts and seeds. If you play in the leaves, you'll hear crunch, crunch, crunch. But don't worry about making noise. The maple tree won't wake up again until spring. Did you like that book? Yeah. Did we play in the leaves at school? We played in the leaves at school with all the kiddos. And who did you cover with leaves? Miss Jordan, you covered me with leaves. Isn't that silly? Okay, so now we're gonna do our weather song. Are you ready to sing? Sun is shining nice and bright. It's still very cold outside though. Miss Jordan was outside with her puppy this morning and she was cold. It was super chilly, but the sun's out so you still can go outside and play. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So now we're gonna go over our letters, shapes, and colors. All right, first we're gonna do our letters. These are a little tricky. So the first letter we have is this letter. This sound makes i, i, like igloo. This is letter I. Can you say I? E. The next letter is K. Can you say K? K? K. Say K. Good job. Those are our two letters, I and K. Those are our letters we're gonna learn this week. The next one is our colors. What color do you think it is this week? Oh, it's purple. Can you say purple? This is Miss Jordan and Miss Haley's favorite color. Purple. Can you say purple? Purple. Good job, it's purple. The next ones are our shapes. These ones are really tricky, but I think you can handle it. This one's called a pentagon. It's got five corners, five cinco corners. One, two, three, four, five. It's a pentagon. That's a really big word. Can you say pentagon? Good job. I know that one's kind of tricky. And the last one, this one's even trickier, but I think you can handle it. It's a hexagon. It has one, two, three, four, five, six corners. Can you say hexagon? Hexagon. That's a really tricky word too, but we'll keep learning about them this week and we'll get even better at them. All right. Are you ready for our last thing that we're going to do is our days of the week. Are you ready? Oh.
Okay, now we got a guess. Yesterday was Monday, right? We said Monday. So which day comes next? Should we see? Sunday, Monday, <gasps> Tuesday. It is Tuesday today. Can you say Tuesday? Tuesday. December 1st. It's number one today. That's a really easy number to count to, right? So let's count, ready? <gasps> one, we already made it. We made it to the first day of the month. Good job. It's Tuesday, December 1st. That means that we're starting a new month today, a new month. All right, that's all I have for you today, sweetheart. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Adios. Bye, Dulce.